Okay, we're gonna do a little experiment here. Um, I have a temperature monitor, and this is to show you the difference of a standard ESC linear BEC. And now we'll take and uh, fly the same plane to burn up that Castle Creations. Only now I have the ESC and BEC completely sealed off. There's no cir air circulation getting inside that at all. But I have an external BEC. And I have a temperature monitor. So let's run a couple wide open passes and then check it. As you can see, that motor has more than enough power. It's wide open. I'm trying to not get any altitude with it, but it's hard to do. Okay, let's bring it down and see what the temperature is. Here, let's get it down in a hurry. Tip stall does pretty well. Okay, let's go pop the canopy on this and see what that wide open run did with no circulation. No air circulation whatsoever. It's all paved off with foam. And first, there's no smoke coming out of it, but let's uh, dig out the ESC, which by the way was right up above the battery. Okay, and here we go. Hope you can see this. It says it is 91.8. Maybe you can see that, which is barely warm. That's running absolutely wide open and it barely gets over body temperature. Well, no, it's not even body temperature. It's not even up to body temperature. So there, oh, it's getting a little warm. There we go, 92.2. I hope that's in the screen. So the point is, it's uh, with an external BEC, which I'll dig that out here in a moment. We'll find it here, wherever it is. Yes, and there is your little $5 external BEC right there. I hope that's in the picture here. I'll take this camera off. Okay, there's that little $5 BEC. And again, you can, you can touch this thing though, the ESC, and it's, I would have to exaggerate some to say that it's warm. So, and that one would be absolutely burning hot if I was to leave it run on the internal BEC. So the lesson in all of this is use an external BEC or a switching ESC with an ESC with a switching BEC in it, but ultimately the bottom line is make sure you have a switching BEC and you don't have to do all those silly things like mount the ESC outside of the airplane to get it cool and all that nonsense. Just spend five bucks and get an external BEC and you'll have no heating problems whatsoever. Thanks for watching. Bye.